after having completed uh, the ACCA exam papers, we achieved the status of an affiliate, as I just mentioned. Now, the next step is to get the membership status. Now, what steps are required to be completed in order to attain that membership status? You need to have completed 36 months of experience in an accounting or finance role. Now, in your workplace, you have to find a practical experience supervisor. Now, who is this supervisor? This supervisor is going to guide you professionally and so help you grow in the workplace. He will help you, uh, he or she will help you identify the performance objectives that you need, that you best can achieve and will monitor and track your performance and then sign off that statement indicating that you have completed that relevant work experience for the ACCA. You will record your experience, your number of months on ACCA online in the My Experience section. And um, before you become a member, you have to have completed the ethics and professional skills module. Now know that during the ACCA, there is no timeline to complete that ethics and professional module, unless you want to apply for the Oxford Books degree, or number two, you want to become a member. Now, what are these nine performance objectives I, I have been referring to? Well, the ACCA has split them into two categories, essential and technical. Well, in essential, we have, we, as you can see, we have five performance objectives and we need as a uh, individual in a professional working place, you need to achieve these five objectives. In the technical side, you need to achieve at least five out of 17. And I have in indicated these in categories. You can hop over to the ACCA website and see these in more detail.